Hello pharmacist, today is a quick video on tetracycline antibiotics. Tetracyclines are like most widely prescribed antibacterial agents. They are used to treat a wide variety of infections from minor to severe. Now their efficacy has gone into decline due to the threat of resistance but still they are prescribed for various infections. There is no specific classification for tetracyclines but a randomly took a classification to explain its characteristics whether it is lipophilic or hydrophilic and how it's administered. So first group we have roly tetracycline oxytetracycline and chlortetracycline these are less lipophilic and less absorbed and everything is orally administered except roly tetracycline group 2 we have doxycycline and minocycline they are more lipophilic than group 1 they are given both IV and oral next group we have aminomethylcycline and glycycline these are more lipophilic and also administered IV Tetracyclines are used to treat following conditions like moderate to severe acne, lower respiratory tract infections, COPD exacerbations, pneumonia both atypical and typical pneumonia, other infections like chlamydia, typhoid, anthrax and Lyme disease. It's also used in malaria prophylaxis. Tetracyclines are protein synthesis inhibitors. They bind at 30S ribosomal subunit. So specifically, they prevent the binding of amino acyl tRNA to the mRNA ribosome complex. Now the process is a bacteriostatic effect which means they prevent the further bacterial growth. Next, we have adverse drug reactions of tetracycline antibiotics. So I thought to go a little bit deeper into these. So first adverse drug reaction is phototoxicity. So we all know tetracycline cause phototoxicity reactions, but how? So if a person who is on tetracycline antibiotics, when he get exposed to UV light, the cells consume more oxygen. And what happens is a reaction named photosensitized oxidations. So this can lead to photo damage of the cells. So if you want to know more into this, there are some chemical reactions which occur, which is available in details if you refer articles related to this. So it's most commonly reported in drugs like D-methyl, chlor, tetracycline and doxycycline. Tetracyclines due to risk of discoloration, they are contraindicated in pregnant or lactating mothers and in children with developing teeth and bone growth may be affected and even tetracyclines are known to cause chelations they chelate with certain ions like zinc calcium aluminium magnesium so due to this reason these drugs should not be administered together always make sure you keep an interval of two to three hours now tetracyclines at higher doses can cause steatosis and liver toxicity so we have to monitor these drugs if used in long term and always make sure the doses are given according to the patient's condition i hope this video was informative to everyone so if you like this video please like and share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe because i'll keep uploading videos related to drugs so that's all. Have a nice day ahead.